it will be better to tarry a while longer. Mm. Is that all? See, there's something I need to show you. What is it? Promise not to overreact because I know you. Bumi, I know what I've been saying in my dreams. And I know what I saw in the scriptures. Sometimes, dreams can be funny. I really believe this guy was the will of God for me. And God cannot be a liar now. Oh, 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 wait. It's now clicking. Was that the reason why you were trying to lure me into sleeping with you? So, you knew all we were doing all along. You wanted me to father another man's child, which is demonic. I'm afraid it is too late. Quite a number of things have happened in a couple of months. To the best of my knowledge, she's engaged. That woman, Morenike, you're fortunate to have her as a wife. She's a trophy of a wife. She's the proper Proverbs 31 woman. Therefore, I repeat, David, you must not mess it up. I'll call you back. I'll call you back. I'm so sorry, my brother. I'm so sorry. Ah, Sister Mo. Bro, Michael. <laughs> this is a surprise. Yeah. I don't think we have ever met that side church before. I don't think so, too. You know, you doctors are always very busy to mingle with mere humans like oh, us. Oh, spare me that. Spare me that. I mingle whenever I have the chance. All right. <clears throat> oh, pardon me. This is my fiance, David Oduala. David, this is bro Mike, our Sunday school teacher. Oh, nice to meet you, bro. Yeah, same here. Do you attend our church too? Um, yeah, whenever I'm around. Wow, wow. But wait, are you uh, in any way related to Bishop Oduala? I'm his son. Wow, wow. This is huge. What is? I mean, you are the son of that great man of God. <laughs> uh, you see, I'm great too, you know. Don't you think so? Uh, I do, yeah. <laughs> well, congratulations. I'm happy for the two of you. Yeah, thank you. What up, Sister Banke? Uh, well, we are no longer together. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, but how, how did you know uh, Banke? Oh, uh, how did I know? You know, information flies around. Um, it's nice to meet you. Take care. Take care. Yeah. See you. <laughs> Thank you for the ride. Um, it's all right, baby. I don't like it. Stop calling me baby. Well, you're my baby. Technically, until the wedding. Man cannot even catch a break. It is what it is. I'll see you tomorrow. What are you doing? I'm coming with you. <laughs> That's not going to happen. What are you scared of? It's not like I'm going to hurt you or something. But being together can hurt us both. Let us not risk it. Fine. Um, can I at least get a hug before you go? After a hug, then what? A tighter hug, then a kiss, then see. For the sake of our vows to keep ourselves till marriage, let us keep the boundaries. But what does it matter, self? You are keeping yourself from me anyway. The more reason why you need to be patient and understanding. See, babe, see, you don't know how hard this thing is, yeah? You think I don't know? You are not the only one with desires, David. But we cannot allow the flesh to dictate to us. The Bible says, if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the spirit you put to death the misdeeds of the body, you will live. Romans 8 something, yeah? <laughs> Good. Since you know the word of God, then leave it. We're in care. See, this, this is not fair, honestly. It's not. Hmm. Don't worry. 
when we are married, you will have enough of me, I promise. But for now, the gate is closed to iniquity. Fine. I'm serious, David. <laughs> Who says I'm not? I know you will. <laughs> this will happen again, David. What does it matter? Look, we're getting married in a matter of a few weeks. See, even if it's just a little, you know? <laughs> ah, ah. See, you are scaring me. Let me go before you devour me. You can't blame me, babe. You're just so fine. Hmm. The Lord will help you. Take care. Fine, gay. Michael is single. God, have I just made a terrible mistake? Hmm. <sighs> but I have come a long way with David. Maybe too long. God, please, I don't want to make a mistake. Heavenly Father, thank you for this beautiful morning. You have said in your word that your word will not return to you empty, but shall accomplish the purpose for which you have sent it. I have not departed from the commands of your lips. I have treasured the words of your mouth more than my daily bread. Ever since my childhood till now, 
your word has been a lamp to my feet and light to my path. Lord, please give me clarity. Help me, Lord. I am confused. David, what time is it? It's around 10 a.m., sir. 10 a.m. What time are your workers supposed to arrive here? 8 a.m., sir. 8 a.m. David, you were two hours late than your workers. Any justification for that? Um, well, I, I, I had a long night. Hmm. David, I was at your apartment earlier today. You weren't there. So, where were you? Well, 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 you're a grown man. You don't have to answer that. But understand that your wedding comes up in two weeks' time. David, do not mess it up. I've heard, uh, yes, I've, I've heard. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Now, since we are opening a new branch here, we're going to have an outreach next week. And you will be speaking at that outreach. Sorry, uh, I'm sorry, I, I, you, you said speak? Preach! It's high time you got your baptism of fire. Do not mess it up. <laughs> I can't hear you. Uh, um, yes, 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 sir. Do not mess it up. I don't... <laughs> what? Dad, pre preach! <laughs> Dad, can we talk about it or something? Can we... Dad, laddie! Dan Ladi! Renike? Renike, talk to me. What's wrong? <sighs> what is the problem? Michael is single. Dr. Mike? Yes. And so? Don't you get it? I was with David when I met Michael at a mall yesterday. <sighs> and the conviction came back kind of. Kind of? What are you talking about? The dream. It returned this morning and it was confusing. <sighs> have you prayed? I have. But I'm obviously struggling with clarity. 
Maybe you have to see Pastor Larry if you are still developing cold feet. <sighs> and if you ask me though, look how far you've come with David. And according to you, everything is okay with him. So, why do you want to fix what is not broken? Hmm. This is serious. So what do you intend to do now? That is why I've come to see you, sir. I don't know what to do. I'm so confused. Hmm. Sister Mrenike, I know I have asked you this question several times. But I'm still going to ask you again. Are you so sure you want to be with David? Honestly, I don't know. Sometimes I want to marry him. Other times I don't. Uh, actually, it's not unusual to develop cold feet as one's wedding approaches. Sir, this feels different. You know, the interesting thing is that Dr. Mike came to share some convictions about you some weeks ago. But I told him that you are engaged. I know you have gone far down the road with David. But it is never too late to turn back if you are not certain you want to go further with him. A, a broken engagement is better off than a marriage that breaks you. <sighs> See, ultimately, it is better to follow your conviction. Sir, I intend to ask David for a break. Hmm. Uh, well, that does not look like a bad idea. Hey, but before you take any step, I want you to take time to pray and ask for direction. <sighs> okay, sir. All will be well. Amen. Yeah. David, I think we need a... Bishop wants to see you. What? Yeah. Um, Daddy wants to have a meeting with you later today. Okay. I'll be there. Momo, my daughter. Good evening, sir. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Please rise. Please <laughs> rise. It's always a pleasure to see you. Yes, sir. David said you wanted to see me. Yes. Um, I want to ask you some things, and um, I want you to be very honest with me. All right, sir. How are things with you? How are things with you? You know, family, work, and, uh, everything. Everything is fine, to be fair. I just supervised the construction of the tallest building in the city. Wow. Are you serious? 
Yes, sir. The one beside the central market? Yes, sir. Impressive. I saw it some days ago when I was taking a drive around the town. Wow. Ah, ah. You constructed that? Along with my team, sir. Impressive. Mm. Why? Marenica, you keep wowing me every time. Now, confess to me. Are you really human or an angel? Ha, <laughs> ah, daddy. Now, I know where David got his teasing skills from. <laughs> <laughs> now, talking about David, um, how have you been coping with him? I, I know my son can be a handful sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, David has a good heart, sir. Hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that. And um, you know when he told me that um, you were to be his wife, I was over the moon. I was overjoyed. I couldn't think of a better wife for him than you. <laughs> you know. Ha. Ah. You see, you know, I've loved you since you were young, since you were a baby. You are like um, the daughter I and my wife never had. We, we, we love you so much and um, we are so happy and so privileged to have you in our lives. And I'm there to tell you that. I'm honored to hear that, sir. All right. God bless you. And um, aside that, I hope you've heard that um, I've decided to hand over the reins of the church and the entire ministry to David. I'm aware, sir. Good. Very good. And uh, what that means is that um, aside being his wife, you're going to have to play a very important role in the foregrounds of the gospel and the work of God. I understand, sir. And then because of that, um, you have a huge responsibility to God, to your husband, and to the church. And my dear, it can be really tough. It can be really tough. It's, it's demanding. And it's going to require a lot of sacrifice from you. Yes, sir. And I must warn you that your professional life can even suffer for it. Yes, sir. Hmm. It can be really, really tough to handle. And um, I want you to reach out to me at any time for whatever reason. Okay, sir. Of course, I will be retired, but I will not be tired. So if there's anything you want uh, me to handle, or you want me to, j just feel free to, to reach out to me. All right, sir. Now, lastly, um, David is many things, but he's not perfect. Mm -hmm. He really needs you in his life, now more than ever. Um, the church needs you. David needs you. We, we all need you. And um, God will help you. Amen. Thank you. Please, Nida, let me pray for you. Do this. Let's go. God give us priests and homes, homes where the Bible is law and taught, homes where the Homes crowned with beauty, your love has wrought. God give us peace and hope. God give us peace and hope. God give us peace and hope. Homes where the Father is. Then God give us peace and hope. 
David Shegun Odwala. Do you take Morenike Janet Adeshoro to be your lawfully wedded wife? Do you promise to love and cherish her in good times and in bad times, in sickness and in health, for richer, for poorer, for better, for worse, and forsaking all others? Keep yourself only unto her for so long as you both shall live. Yes, I do. More Nike Janet Adeshoro. Do you take David Shegun Odwala to be your lovely wedded husband? Do you promise to love and cherish him in good times and in bad times, in sickness and in health, for richer, for poorer, for better, for worse? and forsaking all others. Keep yourself only unto him for so long as you both shall live. Thank you for watching today's episode of the Husband and Wife series. I don't know how you how you will get better if you keep spending so much time in that your farm. That, that, that rather than studying your Bible, you have to study to show yourself approved. You must inculcate good habits. The farm will take care of itself. The ministry is much more important than that your farm. I've heard you, sir. I would work on it. Work on it. Try harder. Get better.
Love of my 